Okay, so now let's look at work on our contacts. So we want to do editor, start editing, contacts. And then contacts uh, line, and we can add vertices. Now, the one thing, can't snap to layers that are not displayed. So what we're going to have to do is turn the RNet units on, but let's make them pretty transparent, so maybe 25%. Okay. And now we'll go back over, and we just have to look and say, okay, these first few contacts are certain, so we can... Let's right click, open attribute table. We're ready to go here. So let's do this contact. So notice we're snapping to the polygon boundary for the contact line. So this is contact certain. Let's do another one. certain. Okay, so now let's do, looks like this one is an approximately located one, at least partially, to here. So this is going to be contact approx. Okay, and then, however, this next one pretty solid. Okay, so notice it snapped there. That's a contact certain. But I notice it was a little fast and I'm missing a vertex. So what let's do is let's make these contacts a little bit bigger so we can see them. Okay, let's see what's that one. That's an approximate. So once you get going, you can copy one of these that you've had before. There. And that way you'll get it right. So that's a is actually in the windows, it's control C to copy. So as we go, you can see here there's actually a vertex issue. We'll probably want to come back and fix that. I think that's on the quaternary alluvium polygon. I forgot to have my layer on, so let's clean things up, delete that line, start over, let's save our edits, and go back to line. Okay, so notice there it snapped the faults, which we don't really want to do. So let's delete that, try again. Just get over it. Okay, so let's look at our 
contacts are looking decent. So then, let's just quickly check them by, okay, let's definitely save them, stop editing. Now let's go to properties, symbology, categories, type, add all values. Remember we check, so we just have, so we didn't have any misspellings, which is good. We have certain and approximately located. So here we can go down to our geology. We have contact certain. For now, we can do a one on that and contact approximately located. Do a one for the weight. So we can later we'll deal with the cartography of changing the line weights. Now we're getting somewhere. We've got our geologic map with the contacts and polygons and so forth. So let's save it. 